No way, Alex! You just caught a rare Fishing Steve minifigure! I've been trying to find one of those for months! Oh no! Maybelline! Oh well, plenty more Steves in the sea, right Alex? On the table, we are back at it with Minecraft survival mode figures from Mattel. Joining us today, we have Steve with Elytra, Fishing Boat Alex, there might be a tameable wolf hiding behind her, and a hay-eating mushroom behind Steve there. I skipped the previous figures with Steve and the light-up torch and the light-up blaze. I wanted to save some money for all those mini Jurassic World Lego sets falling around. And these new four figures without batteries should prove very interesting. So let's move forward and see what we have. And it looks like the hay-eating mooshroom has drawn the longest moosh straw. Whatever that is. You can totally see this one from a mile away on shelves. That red is so vibrant. I was so very excited to see the hay-eating mooshroom. There's just not enough of these things going around. On the back of the box, we have a demonstration of the hay-eating mushroom. What is it doing? Is it moving towards the hay? How could that be? And we have a crafting guide for mushroom stew, which I actually tried to do the other day and failed, as I only had one kind of mushroom on me. Mushrooms follow you when you lead them with hay. Plus other figures available. Alex in that boat looks exciting. All right, let's remove and have fun. By the way, check out that festive Mushroom Island back there. Now a part of the back package you cannot remove. Alright, so there's the hay, and there's the Mushroom. The Mushroom is looking to be one of the most detailed figures of any of the survival mode figures. All that red and white is so eye-popping. And those mushrooms on top of her head and back look cool. Looks like it's somewhat similar to the cow. Wait, did we get a survival mode cow figure yet? I don't think we have. We have a pig, we have sheep. Do we have a cow? Did I do a cow and forget? It's getting really challenging keeping the Mattel survival mode figures, the Jazzwares Minecraft figures, and the Lego minifigures all sorted out in my head. Perhaps I should drink some mushroom milk. That's good for the mind. So yes, it does look like we have some legs that move. The back end of a mushroom if you've ever seen one. And what about those mushrooms on her back? Do they move? No, they look like they're stuck, but I think we have head rotation. <coughs> Having bad dreams yet? Okay, so now we gotta test out this hay eating effect. I see no lever arm, I see no button, I see no strings attached. So according to the box, we're just going to hold up this hay, this tasty, tasty hay. Looking a little bit green today. Well, I guess it's just the green grass. I'm gonna put it a little closer to the nose here. Ah, so what we give it back. What we've got here is a magnet inside, or just a very hungry mushroom. Now the mushroom barely wants to walk toward it. I mean, once it's stuck, you can kind of pull it towards you. But it's not going to make the mushroom walk towards you or anything spectacular. I don't know why, what I'm thinking. Can we feed him from the bottom? No, it's mainly from just the front. Let's move in a little closer. Try it again. Looks like there's a stronger magnetic attraction when you get the two holes on the hay lined up with the two nose holes of the mushroom. There we go. There we go though, the hay eating mushroom, it is eating hay. Not a bad effect, I love magnets and toys, I really wish we see more. So that would be the mushroom, thank you for stopping by. Hey, look who just flew in, and boy his arms look like bricks. And outside of the package with Steve continuing to look like what Steve would look like. Don't think they've changed anything on Steve recently. It's Steve again, Steve. 
I suppose if there's any differences in the Steves, it's either Steve with chopping action or Steve without. This one is without. But we still have the classic survival mode articulation in the head, the arms, and hips. No waist rotation, and if you notice, his shoulder joints will push in and out. That way you can place on the armor and or elytra wings on a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and do that now. Right now the rocket is testing out a good glide. Simple to install, just place onto the back here. And Steve is ready for a good glide. One of the nice things the way these are built is that they overlap each other a little bit. That way they don't collide with each other. And where did that rocket go to? Ah, there we go. Place in hand fireworks. At first I was thinking it would have been nicer to have a sword, but now I'm thinking I like the firework. That's different. Pretty flashy. So Steve, what do you got going today? I'm gonna go test out this firework. All right, you go do that. Okay, up, up, and away! Whoa, that was beautiful, Steve. Oh, that might have hurt. You okay, Steve? Steve? Uh, let's, let's move on to Alex. Oh my goodness, this Malibu Stacy comes with a boat. Oh wait, fishing boat, Alex. It's more than just Alex with a boat, though. We have Alex with a working fishing rod. And there is the guide for craft. Pull fishing line and press button to reel in fish. Let's reel her in. And it's Alex outside of the package with a fish of raw. Huh. Looks like that fish is going to be harder to catch than thought. Let's first look at this boat. This is the most spinny boat I've ever seen. Look at this thing, it glides. No wheels on the bottom. I almost thought maybe they would add wheels. It's almost like a soap tray. Probably could place a good bar of soap in there to have Alex fit into the boat. There we go. Does it still spin, you ask? Not as well. Gravity is all messed up. Amazing how a real simple inclusion of a rectangular piece of plastic makes the figure pack. Well, let's check out this fishing pole. Looks like we have a hook on the end, we've got some line. It also looks like this thing is embedded into her arm. Yeah, that thing isn't going anywhere. How much line are we gonna get, Alex? That's pretty good, about eight to 10 inches of line. Now we have to catch that fish. Doesn't look like it's gonna be easy. She did it! She caught the fish! Nicely done! Looks like a really nice raw fish fish. Oops, sorry. There we go. Good looking fish, and it looks like another possible magnet attachment. Well, I'll let you reel it in by letting me help you by pressing the back button on your back. Whoops. Oh, no. It got away. Well. Try again. All right, let's give it another shot. 
Wow, that thing retracts way fast. Woo! Let's go halfway. All right. I found with this one, if I have the line out too far, it's gonna just pop that fish off in the retraction. Half the line out, it does catch the fish. Very cool, this might be one of the more entertaining survival mode figures out there. Let's give it one more try. We did it! Good job, Alex. Your work is done here. We are now at the tail end of the review with the return of the Tameable Wolf. If you recall how the previous Tameable Wolf worked, feed a bone and a collar will appear. Before it was red, now we're looking at green. Also a crafting guide for a lead. Tame your wolf by feeding it bones, it says. Out of the many figures of survival mode to get extras of, the Tameable Wolf is a good one. I've noticed it gets some of the most play in my family. Let's retrieve her. And outside of the package, the Tameable Wolf already tamed, but without the bone. Let's reset, pull the legs back. Now it's standing, but now it's just a wolf dog, but not mean. And we say, hey, would you like a bone? And then we kind of smash into the mouth here. And the legs go back, and there you go, the tameable wolf. It's tamed again, with a green collar, of course. Kind of fun. Although now I'm starting to think it would have been neat to have a different kind of wolf action feature. Not really sure what. Maybe something that would eat zombie flesh. I don't know. And if I remember right, the wolf's tail works as a light switch. Yep, still does. So if you're looking for a tameable wolf with a green collar, there's your chance with this latest series. Good girl. <laughs> and here's what we found today from the survival mode Mattel Minecraft figures. I would say my favorite has to be the hay-eating mushroom, as it is the most unique out of these four today. We've seen Steve and Alex several times. Although Fishing Boat Alex is also a very wise choice to find. And if you enjoy gliding about Steve with Elytra wings and of course another tameable wolf. Hey! Minecraft Survival Mode figures from Mattel the latest wave, Spring 2018, arrives on shelf. If you're looking for clever new ways to entertain yourself with Minecraft figures, these four will shut the door. I don't know what that means. Basically, if you like fireworks, pick up Steve. If you like tameable wolves, pick up the wolf. If you like fishing, find Alex. If you like strawberry milk, pick up a mushroom. That's what I have to say about that. Give a man a squirrel, and you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man to squirrel, and he will go live in a tree. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, Subscribe. Plenty more Steves in the sea, right Alex?